Despite unprecedented challenges, Super Bowl 55 absolutely rocked our worlds. The game, which ended in victory for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, was held in Tampa, Florida, so Tom Brady and his crew definitely put some truth behind that whole home field advantage idea. While quarterback Patrick Mahomes and the rest of the Kansas City Chiefs are no doubt disappointed, they played a decent game and, hey, there's always next year. Speaking of excellence, The weekend absolutely slayed the halftime show. The heavily hyped performance included a golden hallway sequence that made some viewers nauseous, and his backup dancers raised eyebrows too. The way we see it, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. In that sense, the show was a total success. Now let's talk about Super Bowl commercials. Can we all agree that Will Ferrell's starring role in GM Spot was the funniest thing we've ever seen this year so far? And it's just one of the highlights of an unusual broadcast. Hey, Norway, listen up, you fish-loving! This place is adorable. With big bucks backing these ads and celebrity sightings galore, here are the best and worst commercials of the Super Bowl. The 2021 Super Bowl reached back to the 90s for a lot of inspiration. There was the delightful Tide commercial featuring a Jason Alexander hoodie that was well-loved and very dirty. The ad played to Joey Scarberry's song, Believe It or Not, which actually was a secret reference for Seinfeld fans everywhere. But some viewers saw potential for a different approach. As one fan quipped on Twitter, Yo, Tide, you missed a huge opportunity to make this Jason Alexander hoodie commercial to be about shrinkage. <laughs> The flashback feels continued with an Uber Eats commercial featuring Mike Myers and Dana Carvey as, you guessed it, Wayne and Garth from Wayne's World. This time capsule of a commercial got a contemporary update with a visit from Cardi B. Yeah, eat local! The finished product was a huge hit with viewers as 190's aficionado tweeted, We have been blessed by Wayne and Garth, so my heart is happy tonight. Of course, this was far from the first time Wayne and Garth had teamed up to sell some products. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. That wasn't the end of the throwbacks, though. Cadillac gave us an updated twist on the 1990 film Edward Scissorhands, with Winona Ryder playing a lovable mom and Timothy Chalamet starring as Edward Scissorhands' son, Edgar. Is anyone else missing the 90s? Because these were all touchdowns in our book. The Super Bowl 55 commercials didn't skimp out on the eye candy, either. State Farm ensured customer loyalty for decades to come by featuring a star-studded cast. We got quarterbacks Patrick Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers, and Paul Rudd as Mahomes' stand-in. And Jake from State Farm got a stand-in, too. Hold on, is that Drake? That's right, Drake from State Farm. Amazon nailed its commercial, which featured a woman eyeing the newest Alexa device. At least until her gaze was stolen by a bus with actor Michael B. Jordan's face on it. I mean, I literally couldn't imagine a more beautiful vessel for Alexa to be inside. One Twitter user sang the spot's praises, writing, Amazon just did God's work with Michael B. Jordan in the Alexa commercial. Thank you. It wasn't just an onslaught of hunks that made the Super Bowl 55 commercial so fantastic. T-Mobile aired the cutest retelling of Gwen Stefani's first date with Blake Shelton. Are you wearing spurs? Did you ride a horse here? Yeah. Cheetos relied on a power couple with Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher in a hilarious story about a man and a woman denying a bunch of domestic transgressions. From eating Cheetos on the couch to eating Cheetos in the shower, all set to Shaggy's hit, It Wasn't Me. Well, did you? Wasn't me. This was epic stuff, but not every advertisement was a hit, so this list wouldn't be complete without dishing on some misses. Doritos featured Matthew McConaughey as a paper-thin version of himself dubbed Flat Matthew. He didn't return to his true form until he got his hands on some Doritos 3D crunch. Twitter was conflicted about that concept. Some found it clever, while others were weirded out by the visuals. One person asked, This Matthew McConaughey commercial makes me so uncomfortable. Is he Flat Stanley or something? The Oatly commercial also annoyed large swaths of viewers, while others were simply anxious to figure out the true identity of the singer in the ad, who happens to really be none other than Oatly CEO Tony Peterson. Arguably the worst Super Bowl commercial of 2021 goes to Cure Auto Insurance. The title for the commercial was Whip It Out, and it was as suggestive as it sounds. 
The premise was men whipping out their opinions in much the same way as they might whip out something else. Tommy, I didn't just whip it out. She was into it. This may just be the first time that nearly everyone on Twitter agreed on a topic. Many felt that the commercial made light of sexual harassment and was completely tone deaf. As one viewer tweeted, Cure auto insurance with the most cringy and least aware commercial of the night. That's maybe not the reaction that they spent millions of dollars for. But hey, there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? No! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about the latest hot topics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.